Hello! How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Let me see here. What a banger, that theme, man. Intermission. From Snake Tales. Hold on. Oh, boy! Let me see here. What's up, Sniper Wolf? Sniper Wolf, thank you again for the, uh, the Tier 2 yesterday. Really, those, uh, those Tier 2 subs, they go a long way. Cheers, man. I really appreciate it. Powerglass, what's up? Muff, user, Cloud Aced, all the usuals. Dim, what's up? Bad humans. Muff, thank you for gifting a sub to Dim as well. Uh, who else is here? Itachi, Oscar, it's good to see you all. Uh, it's been... I haven't done a fresh save in Ground Zero since I first played the game. Um, you know, going from... going back to 0%. So, I thought I'd do... I thought we'd, uh, we'd go for it again. I've been meaning to do this for a while. And... You know, we'll go through all the missions, do everything that there is to do, collect all the tapes, all that stuff. Let's just get straight into it. Um, yeah, of course, you actually have to unlock the harder difficulties. Top secret, eyes only. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen this. So we have to do normal first. Do you even have to complete them on hard to get the to get a hundred percent? I don't know if you do. I can't even remember. But we'll have to collect the XOF badges, shit like that. Let's do it. I won't be doing all of this in one sitting, as the title implies. But we'll definitely do a few hours of it today, and I'll probably jump on and do some Elden Ring later on as well, after like three or four hours. to your boss when you get home.
Ten days ago, we got reports that Pass was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Pass could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The U.N.'s nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. So who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Paz. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Paz, then report back from the rendezvous point. Send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission meets backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. No! That is not Solid Snake. I mean Big Boss. I mean David Hayter.
Wish. Take a look around. What do you see? Press the call button to get more intel. That's the refugee camp. I hear it's where they hold refugees from countries like Cuba and Haiti. On top of a decades-long dictatorship, Haitians also face an ever-growing wealth gap. A lot of those people likely risk their lives to get out. Forensic, thank you very much for the 16 months. Bad humans, thank you for gifting us up to Zine. Blood Sense with the 56. Cheers, guys. Mega Broskies. With the, uh, with the five as well. The four in a row. Cheers, everyone. Is he going to trip out and point his gun at him? All quiet? Yeah. No, <laughs> you see the choppers? Who are they with? It's me, man. Green Berets. Seals. Those ain't no jarhead birds, I can tell you that. Some paramilitary setup? Some of the guys are saying, you know what? Best we just drop this, right? Uh, sure. That won't always happen, but if he triggers the conversation while he's looking away from him like that, it'll happen. All right, we'll take this slow. We'll try and get as many optional conversations as we can. Um, I'm not sure who will rescue first, Chico or Paz. Let me just check something here. Uh, let's turn markers off. Enemy presence. Yeah, let's remove as much of the HUD as we can. Trial record. Let me just leave that on, just because it's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, damage. Action. Leave that on. We'll turn the... The, the weapon and item icons off, I think. Normal difficulty as well. We don't have the option for hard. I think there's a badge. We have no more than a dozen guys at Baron Kia. Some of them with barely enough gear to protect themselves. Now here we are, not one year later. Over 300 men strong. But the way I see it, this is still our zero hour. Once this mission's behind us... Where's the badge? I'll pitch you some ideas about expansion. There it is. XOF. Yeah, you actually have to stand around here as well to get that bit of dialogue that we just got from Kaz. Keep low. You can check the controls on the pause screen. I should have just went there. It doesn't matter. Really cool, the spotlights in this. The mood, the storm, echoes of the tanker. Press the action button. Hey, what's up, Creeper? How's it going, everyone? There's a guard up there. If you're going to eliminate him, use a gun. Thank you, Kaz. Now head east to the old prison area. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. Just Eyes open, boss. I only have one eye, Kaz. Does this vehicle only come around when we get up to this point? I hear something. Laguna with the 39 months. Cheers.
Whoa, this feels really stiff. Contact me if you need advice. I'm ass assuming you can change that in the options. You should move the bodies of enemy. You should shut up. Uh, yeah, let's turn that up there. Somewhere out of sight. Okay, that's better. I think. There we go. That's it. Okay, I might need to turn it down a little bit. We'll see. Bring that down to 8. Bring both of them down to 8. Bring that down to 7. Nothing to do with Elden Ring's controls. It's just the the aiming is just incredibly stiff. I, I I this is the first time I'm playing on PS5 on a fresh save, so I don't have I'm not playing with all the same settings that I usually play with. It's just not the way I usually play. It has nothing to do with other games that I've been playing. CQC is effective for dealing with nearby enemies. About the special ships guys have been pulling the old prison area to pass the gas? Some high value prison. So, you get that dude and kiss a great time to buy My buddy was crying on my shoulder. But that place has been dead for years. Now we got these, I don't know who, bringing in enemy combatants from the states. Right. And the CO is tearing his hair out. I feel like I'm living in a prison, man. Isn't marking every enemy on each mission part of the 100%? I don't remember that being a thing. I don't think so. I don't believe so. Don't like the PS5 controller power glass? Small hands? Okay, we're going to go back over here, get the other prisoner. I don't remember what the deal is with the trials at all. How do you unlock all the trials? I don't think you need to complete the trials, do you? I think you just have to unlock them. I don't think I have particularly big hands. Say they're around average. You can now either interrogate him, knock him out, or kill him. His life is in your hands. Grab that ammo. Hey, what's up, stat man? Yeah, much easier on normal. If I was on hard, that Already guy would have seen me. He wouldn't have triggered an alert. I can't believe we ever bought that cover story. After Paz tried to steal Zeke from us, and we watched her get pulled beneath the waves. There was one thing I kept asking myself. Whoa! Which was the real Paz? Grab him. You gonna help him? If you want to extract him, carry him to the RV and call in the chopper. Um, I know there's another XOF badge here somewhere. We can come back for it. Actually, let me just take another quick look over here. Uh. Yep. 
Yeah, Dim, a bit of a mistranslation with that line. Yeah, there was a lot of discussion about it back in the day. Am I ready? This will help with whatever you're doing. Everyone inside the entrance building, use the drainage channel. When the console says low battery, the controller lasts like five plus hours. Yeah. The PS3 controller was like that as well. I think it would, it would last even longer. If it was a fresh controller. When it hit low battery, it would still last for like 10 hours. Nobody played Peace Walker, so they changed it. Are you sure? Oh, nice. I used to be a master of headshots in this when it first came out. Not so much anymore, but that was clean. Um, yeah, let's just leave these two guys here, actually. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I wasn't even trying. <laughs> All the cuts and effects here, man. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, the drama. That is hilarious. I forgot about that. Another unit patch. Could there be more of it? Take a good look at the enemy through your binoculars, and you can mark him. Marked enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. Oh uh, no, Miller, shut up, man. I want to hear the conversation. your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Try it. Bollywood style, yeah. Gotta be careful here. If you're standing up and you run across here on hard, these guys will see you. You're probably okay to run on normal, but I'm not taking any chances. Uh, I think there's another badge over here. Nice. Wait, what? There she is. Um, I still need to grab the other one over there. We can get it on the way back. You're way too exposed there. Find some cover and stick to it. record hey what's up B Fox good to see it the drainage channel you might be able to crawl in there uh, okay remember back when we met enemies on opposing sides in South America when I tried to take myself out with a grenade, you stopped me. I never realized until I met you. There's no such thing as an absolute enemy. Our enemies are always relative. Um, I'm gonna go back. Funnily enough, you have to come up to this vent if you want to trigger that conversation. It's the only way to get that. Um, 
Yeah, let's go back. I thought there might have been another XOF badge there, but I think it's in the other vent on the other... Uh, on the other side of the map. Ooh! Jesus, okay. I thought I had to be closer. I think that's an XOF badge I see over there. Nope, that's a light. <laughs> magazine if I want it even though I have an infinite number of magazines he did say this is bullshit yeah Uh, where's the badge? Maybe I picked it up. Did I pick it up? I guess I picked it up. I thought I left it here. Hey, how's it going, Griff? Good to see you. Okay, let's bring this guy down to Chico's camp. Gotta be careful crossing here. Yeah. Up, 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 up. Blood Sands, thank you for gifting a sub to Kafka. Uh, oh shit, is this guy down here? Do they add soldiers on hard? I don't even remember. I don't think they do. They just have better vision. Nice. Oh, he's probably gonna see the guy that I just knocked out. That's the old prison area. The targets are there. Yeah. Boss. We've been in touch with Amanda. We had her listen to Chico's call for help. She agrees with us. She said, I know my brother and I know when he's lying. She also had a message for you. I'm ready for the worst. Sounded a little too cheerful to me. Hey, what's up, nice tackle? Yeah, this fucks up the conversation that this guy usually has with the guy outside, but that's okay. We'll be doing this mission again anyway. Plenty of time to get all the conversations. Um. Okay. Kind of weird how even if they're asleep, they'll uh, they'll wake up mid throw. There's no way they won't scream like that. Well, unless they're dead, of course. Then they won't. There's Chico. But where's Paz? Oh, it doesn't say what the name of the track is.
That's what we just picked up. Here's to you. Alluding to the fact that this was Paz's cell right next to Chico's. Your favorite song. Chico. Chico. I got Chico. And Paz? Not here. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Is Chico able to walk? Hold on. Not gonna happen. You'll have to carry him out then. Okay, boss, change your plans. Haul Chico over to the rendezvous point. We'll get Posse's whereabouts out of him once he's calmed down. I've marked the RV on your map. Okay, now carry Chico there. Whoa, the way their animation just shifted there. <laughs> okay, let's bring him down. Oh, hey, here's another badge. What the fuck? Was that them screaming? I thought I just got spotted. Once you don't end up head first in the ocean. Okay, so now that we've rescued that other guy in the other camp, these guys here will be searching. You might think these guys are looking for Chico. But they're not. They were sent here because of the other guy we rescued on the other side of the map. But they'll only arrive here after you rescue Chico. Maybe they maybe they spawn here as well if you rescue Paz first. Maybe they also spawn here. I think they probably do. But kind of cool that you have a unique event here depending on that other random POW that you rescue. He's kind of a special uh, prisoner in this. He gives you a load of extra points as well. If you rescue him. Way more than all the other random prisoners. So, good if you want to get an S rank and still take your time. I like that it's possible to, to get an S rank in this mission while also playing slow. As long as you don't get too many uh, checkpoints... And, as, and yeah, you're required to do optional stuff like get all the POWs. I think on normal it's probably a good bit easier, but you can do it on hard as well. Another guy up there. I think there's two left. So awkward. 
Those tranquilizer rounds are only good for putting your target to sleep. They won't help you break anything. I thought there was one more guy. Is it just three of them? Maybe they do add more guys on hard. Maybe I'm just forgetting. We'll hang around with Chico here for a bit. He has quite a few lines of dialogue, but you can only get them if you keep him on his on your shoulder. Hey, what's up, Dre? Didn't we already do that, Chico? Kind of rough saying that line again. How many times are we going to have to start over? Chico, where is Paz? This recorded. She's dead. Okay, now use your eye droid to call the chopper for pickup. Or we could not do that and leave Chico here. If we do leave Chico here and we bring Paz to him, there's a unique interaction between them and some unique lines. Cool little secret. So we're just going to leave Chico there. Sorry, Chico. <laughs> It must be pretty terrifying. Just leave him there, walk away. What he what must he be feeling right now? Boss, Chico's tape probably contains some clues to where they're keeping Pass. Select it on your iDroid to listen to it. Okay, let's head up to the other facility. Uh there's another badge here. Nice. Five out of nine. Don't the guards find him here? They'll find them. They'll find him if you don't take them out. Well, I already took them out. And there are more guards here later, and they will find him. If you let them find him, but we won't. He'll be okay for now, though. 
We'll only have to worry about that when we come back after rescuing Paz. He's safe in that area for a good while. Until we trigger the next main event here. Um, what am I doing, man? Yeah, I'm just going to leave him there. Use the truck as cover here. Ooh, hello. I think I'm cool. I don't think he's going to come over. This is another weird detail. If I was in the back of that truck right now, this guy wouldn't have stopped. said to stay away from part of admin for now, right? Boiler room. Right. I hear they were doing some kind of questioning in there. Questioning? That enemy combatant in the prison area got taken down there every day. Yeah, if you're in the back of the truck, he'll just go straight in. Straight up to the door. But if you're right behind him, you'll stop and you'll get that little conversation. Alluding to Paz's whereabouts. Hey, what's up, Glassy? I'm having a pretty good day. Hope you're keeping well. Open the front gate. Supply deliveries on its way in. Open the front gate. Oh, the vents in this are so awkward. Another badge. Could take him out here, but no, nah, I don't want his body lying around. Let's wait till he turns. Could have just went there, but play it safe. Ooh, the light here, so nice. Here's this guy who just stands here forever, shining his torch on the ground. <laughs> Go fetch. Now it's over there. Oh, what's that? Now it's over there. What is it? Oh! Go get it, boy. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave him there. He should be cool.
Stay here and keep watch. You got it. Is that boss? Can you get closer? Onto the helicopter. Okay. <coughs> Bathed in this golden light here. Always wondered if this was supposed to be symbolic regarding like her true allegiance. Yellow being such a strong color in uh, in Peace Walker, the color of MSF. Oh, weird. They're not, we're not getting the usual uh, conversation here. Or did it trigger early? Stop it. Because the colors red and yellow play an important part in PW, being able to decipher from the heroes and villains her yellow jumpsuit with a splash of red blood. Yeah, yeah. Of course, when. <gasps> oh, it is the same. Okay, weird. It did play out slightly different here, though. You know, of course, she she shows up wearing the red at the start, along with Zadornov and his uh, his red hand. Now I'm getting it. Yeah, did this did this trigger last time? I feel like this conversation didn't even trigger. Yeah. Or maybe it's just because I was slow coming out here. I think it was just because I was slow. Leave the gate open. You must be running late. Should we do something? They gotta check the yeah, pop, 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 Kurt Russell playing Big Boss would be like Sean Connery playing Austin Powers. I'm really not surprised he turned down that role. Don't. Don't. Okay, I'm going to wait here for these two to come over. Go play this other character that's basically a spin-off of one of your most iconic characters. And it's in a video game in the mid-2000s. I can really just picture Kurt Russell looking at that offer and going, What? No. <laughs> it would have been pretty cool, though.
forecast says we got this until morning. Looks like they're right, for once. <sighs> Can you believe that crew taking choppers out in the storm? It's pitch black, too. I, mean, I knew they were crazy. Either that, or they got some stone-cold rotor heads at the controls. And they flew a tight formation. I guess they got a lot of trust. Trust? My ass. You'd have to drag me onto one of those. Yeah, no shit. So this is actually a conversation that you can only hear if you rescue Chico first and Paz second. Fuck, man. Okay, I'll just let him go up and we'll shoot him when he goes up. Unless one of those shots landed. I don't think it did, though. Ah, what is wrong with my aim? There we go. At least that one landed. There we go. Ten million shots later. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I always play without the hood. Apart from aiming radical. tricky little area. That turret is basically a security camera. Moving left and right, left and right. If it's facing this way, we're fucked. If we go out, I have to wait till it's going the other way. Let's take out this guy as well. Dead boy, what's up? Really fun little section, this getting Paz out here. It's quite tricky. A shame her voice doesn't um, alert the guards, though. That'd be cool if you had to deal with her random chatter, screaming, laughter. But they don't pick up on it at all. Nice. Ah, yeah. I knew I should have hid that guy's body. Put her down. We should be safe here. Cool. I like how you can hear it's in the distance. Gives you time. Oh, shit! I thought it was the other... Okay, there was two vehicles. I didn't even register the one coming from behind me. I thought maybe I heard something coming from behind, but it was the other one that I was looking out for. Chico and Paz in the chopper. 
Oh! I didn't think I had reflex turned on. You want to know something crazy? I think that is the very first time I've taken someone out in reflex mode. Ever. In Ground Zeroes or the Phantom Pain. <laughs> I really think it is. I, n I don't think I ever played around with reflex. Even to show like the silly thing when you throw magazines at their helmet. I don't think I I don't think I've ever shown that on stream. Surprisingly. Um Where is Paz? Ah, fuck, man. I wanted that guy's vehicle to bring all the prisoners down. I think we might just finish the mission normally this time and go for all the prisoners when we do it again on hard. What the? Nice. What the? Man down. Yeah. Fuck. Up, 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 up. Yeah, if you hit a if you hit a soldier's helmet while in reflex mode with a magazine, it'll knock them out. You can only do it. Hey, where do you think you're going? Shut up, Kaz. You can only do it in um, reflex. There we go. More ammo. Five rounds. Five precious rounds. I'm not on the same level as the other games, Blood Sense. Um, I quite like this theme that's playing right now. Even though it's quite understated, just this ambient track while you're getting Paz out. It triggers once you find Paz. And uh, it creates some nice tension, I think. And there are, and there are other themes. I like Venom's theme in uh, Phantom Pain, but generally, the um, the music isn't anything to write home about. Oh my god. Delta 6, this is CP. Got that follow up on your prisoner. Dispose of the prisoner as per the playbook. Repeat. Dispose of the prisoner. Over. As per the playbook. Delta 6 copies. Disposing of prisoner according to playbook. Over. <laughs> oh shit! Telekinetic powers? That's what's in the playbook? Oh my god, I didn't know they had fucking mind powers. I've never seen that happen before, wow. I've seen them kill Paz before, but not like that. A classic MGS5 checkpoint here. I didn't bring Paz up here. No. 
Well, this is what I wanted to do first. Okay, maybe we will get all the other POWs. I don't think this is going to be an S rank. Too slow, too many fails. Although it is normal difficulty, so... They're probably a bit more lenient. Nah. Oh. Oh, it did have to be a little bit higher. You really have to judge for bullet drop in this. It's one thing that they changed drastically in uh, Phantom Pain. There we go. Okay, there's one more guy down here, I think. This guy. Does this guy ever even find Chico here? Does he move down towards him? go. That doesn't count as a kill, by the way. I forgot to mention earlier. For those of you that don't know. <laughs> this right here. Not a kill. But he is dead. Don't worry about that. He is dead. It's not my fault, though. It's the rocks. Uh, we have one more. No, they can land on the rocks and it's still not a kill. They don't have to land in the water. <laughs> the water kills them as well. You don't they don't come back up. They don't come back up from the water. I'm playing on PS5 right now, yeah. Yeah, enemies can bleed to death as well. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, this guy is still here. Enemies will stay asleep forever in this. As long as you get far enough away from them. After you knock them out. Then when you get back within range, their sleep timer will reset.
have to do now is put Chico and Paz in the chopper. There's someone in there. What do you plan on doing? You can pull him out too if you want, but just don't forget the targets. A POW. That's fine if he has some intel, I guess. Okay, now it's time for the pylon. The one and only legendary big boss. I never stop believing. Another prisoner. Looks like he's alive. He goes already. He's not in the cell. He's already down at the bottom. This guy here is really weird. He mutters some strange. Just counting to pass the time. Make it more bearable. Please, someone. From what I remember, he says some really weird shit as well. If you keep looking at him. The shrieking of wave function through observation on the part of the observer forces electrons to escape their probability glass and bring sensation to our existence. There it is. Some Schrodinger's theory shit. Kind of reminds me of the blurb that plays at the start of Jamais Vu. 1,000. A POW. That's fine if he has some intel, I guess. I think he's the only guy that says that. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just random dialogue that a few of them say, but I think he's the only one. Quite strange. Um, did I get everyone there? Alright, put on your seatbelt. What the fuck? What was that splash? Eh. Did I really get everyone there? Are two of them like... In Are two of them like inside each other? Where... Didn't I throw three guys on top of the thing? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. This guy fell through the vehicle. I don't know how we're... Go and there's the other guy. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Let's... No. Not you. That wasn't a very good shot. Um, there we go. Stick you in there. Now, can I... Oh! Hold on. Okay, let's just see if we can carefully... I'm just gonna murder him here. Okay, what if we... Maybe he's... Let's just slowly back up. There you go. Easy does it. He's okay. Yeah, maybe if we just don't touch his legs. Okay, we did it. Nice. I was sure that was going to kill him. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. Let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, hold on tight. There we go. Take it easy. No. No. Okay, let's see if we can get the optional bit of dialogue with Paz and Chico. Yeah, now Chico will sort of crawl up to her. You used to be better at singing love deterrence, Paz. I'm sorry. I think that's all he says. Maybe he has something else. Yeah, that's the other guys going. Yeah, that's not Chico. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure Paz only hums that when Chico is beside him as well. Okay, we have the whole crew. kind of cruel to rescue these dudes when you know Mother Base is going to explode soon? No, it's heroic. Target's 
shame it doesn't alter the next cutscene. Imagine all these guys in the chopper during the next scene. Losing their minds. Oh! No, no, no! Sorry, I didn't see you there, Chico. You're very small. While Kaz complaining that it's overcrowded, yeah. Hey, yeah, I thought so. Only two checkpoints, though. Maybe if we didn't have Reflex on. We would have had the S. Yes. But I forgot to turn it off.
Tower, this is Morpho-1. Do you copy? Can't get through. The link seems fine, but... <sighs> like a damn fiddle! Give it back! This isn't right, that was ours! We built it, damn it! You spy bitch! Come on, start talking, bitch! Come on, get up and start talking! <laughs>
Your favorite song. Nicola Barth. Immigrants wrongly executed. But their death served as a message to others. That ours is a society that murders the innocent. Do you too believe your sacrifice will change the world? More missions after the credits. Stay tuned. We'll go through some of the side ops next.
Cypher's been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him, face to face, in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me where he is. Where is Cypher? Where is Zero? I've never known choice. Where I was born, the language I speak, I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save me, Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill Zero for me? Not for you. All right. Zero is... You die on me, damn it! He be dropping! Into bait now! Clear! You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... nine years. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Okay, there we go. There is our first run through. Rewards. I don't remember any of this shit. Fastest, fastest marking of all enemies trial. These are the trials that I unlocked. Okay. Weapons that you can start with. Chico's tape. Three, four. Right. Yeah, I forget about it. I forget all of this. What you need to do to unlock all the different tapes. And all of that, hard difficulty has been unlocked for the mission. Renegade threat side op, intel operative rescue, yeah, we've unlocked all the main side ops. Anti-air. <clears throat> B 
the E3 trailer making it looking making it look like he shot the kids. I knew that was bait from the first time I saw that. That felt just like very felt like very typical uh, misdirection. Same with the whole you know showing liquid twice in that scene with Mantis, and then he talks about the clones. I was like, nah, no way, no way that that's uh, Solid Snake or anything like that. And the mysterious figure disappears from the back of the chopper, the medic. Now that we're back on the main menu. Box Ghost with the 29 months. Thank you very much. Hold on one second. Uh, I blood sense. Thank you for gifting a sub to Yuki as well. Cheers. Okay, what do I want to do next? Destroy the anti-air emplacements. I had so much fun on this mission back in the day, practicing it for hours. Trying to perfect it and master it. Going through, planting C4, grabbing the POW, getting all of the POW's dialogue. Moving through the base. They're in like a permanent state of caution during this mission. And yeah, it can, t it can take a while to really master. On hard, that is. I'm sure on normal it's a little bit better. Um, do I want to do Renegade Threat? I don't think so. Let's do this one. Classified Intel Acquisition. Contact the US agent undercover at the base. Retrieve his cassette tape of classified intel on the black side and escape the mission area. This one is kind of interesting. Hey, what's up, Nordy? They're trying to be quiet, but Snake unloads an AR in a cave. <laughs> and just the idea that they, their, their um, contact will accept that as proof of their death. You know, just an audio recording of gunshot fire. That's all they need. I guess you do have the screams as well, but still. Been a long time since I've done this. It's gonna be very rusty. You need to make contact with the undercover agent posing as a soldier at the base. He'll pass you a cassette tape containing classified information. Start by taking a look at the agent's VI on your iDroid. Once you've spotted him among the Marines, make contact and get that cassette tape. Thing is, he's not one of us, so don't let your guard down around him. One other thing, boss. I've been told you can also use the watchtower on the west side of the base to contact the target. Just climb up there and turn the searchlight on. Once he sees that, he'll come to you. Once you've identified him, approach him and grab him. That's the contact sign. When you get out of that truck is up to you. Just be sure to take a good look around first. This job, it came through a cutout. But I have a feeling the client is the Joint Chiefs of Staff. After all, the chairman has a lot of faith in you after Peace Walker. In other words, the agent you'll be contacting has been ordered by the nation's highest ranking military officers to spy on a military base. Not your everyday story, but there's more to it than that. That base doesn't follow American, Cuban, or any other law. And somebody wants themselves a place where they can interrogate POWs as they please without being held to the Geneva Convention, a black site. Vietnam is dragging on. The tide has turned against the U.S. and military is exhausted. The CIA is in the same boat, only they've taken advantage of the situation by trying to build this convenient little safe house on the Cuban coast. But a plan of this insanity would never get rubber stamped by the JCS. An official proposal has been submitted, but it only makes mention of expanding the refugee camps. Something is going on in Cuba's little America, far away from the eyes of Washington. And the truth behind it all should be on that cassette tape. 
Miller has a, a crazy amount of dialogue at the start of that. But you can only hear it all if you stay in the truck up until that point. If you get out of the truck early, you won't hear any of that. It's the contact sign. Just make sure you wait until there aren't any other soldiers around. Um, I actually meant to do something a little bit different here. Whoa, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna risk this. That's not gonna work. The enemy's too close. Grab the target when he's alone. Oh, I have to wait until he gets further away? Okay. It's in the central control tower, edge of the admin building sector. I needed to stash it. Had eyes on me, and these guys, they don't work for Langley. He's... You know... Huh? Forget it. You watch your ass, too. All right. Come on, do it. That can actually trigger as a scene as well. Oh, hello. Location of the central control tower. It's marked on your map. When I grabbed him, there was another guy nearby, so it didn't actually show that as a cutscene. But that scene can trigger as a cutscene instead of gameplay, instead of just having the dialogue play in gameplay like there. Um. Okay, let's go and grab the tape. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He wakes up fast. So, from what I remember, this guy is actually bullshitting us. And this tape doesn't really do anything for us. And if we keep tracking him here, we'll see that he meets up with another mysterious guy. Reset? No. Why reset? Just so you, just so you can see the cutscene version of that same conversation. Is that is that what you mean? Uh, no, I'm just gonna keep playing. And uh, maybe I'll show the other. Um, I'm gonna be doing this mission again, you know, so I can show it the next time I play it. There are a couple of different ways of finishing this mission. You can go and get the, the false ending uh, to the mission by grabbing the tape that he's, tell us, that he's telling us about. But this is really just a setup. This tape that we're supposed to get, that's not how you're... That's not the true ending of this mission. But it's been a long time since I've seen this other way of ending the mission, so I want to do it. It's been a long time. And it's probably necessary for 100% as well that you get this tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We'll um, we'll do the mission again. And you'll you'll get to see the cutscene. Maybe not today though. We, we're not gonna do like a full playthrough of this today. We'll just do a few hours today, and maybe I'll do more tomorrow or the next day, something like that. Yeah, I have no idea how the guards are laid out. No idea where this guy is even going. Probably turning left. Ooh, you're coming here. Okay. Assuming I'm safe under here. Really nice, all the different times of day on the base throughout all the different side ops. I think destroy the AA emplacements looks especially nice. It's 
like early morning. Yeah, I really wish uh, Phantom Pain was like 10 or 15 big Ground Zero style missions. With side ops handled in a similar way to make those maps replayable. Kind of Hitman-esque, you know? Where, where you have fewer levels, but the levels are like really densely packed and detailed. So many of the bases in Phantom Pain are hollow. Hollow, bite-sized. Ah. Okay, what am I doing? Through here, take the ladder up there. This is the one path I never take. I never used to. I didn't know this was a thing for the longest time. You could climb up on this roof here. Ooh, hello. Do you see something? Hey, what's up, third mask? GTA 3 was mind-blowing to me as a kid. I played that for the first time back in 2001. The tape. Oh, this is uh, this is Skullface's monologue. I thought this was something else, but yeah, I think this is this is Skullface's recording. Yeah. <laughs> the one camera? Now there's a couple of cameras in this base. I think there's two on this base. Maybe three? You all right? Oh, shit. Shit, what happened to this guy? Ooh. <laughs> I guess he was knocking into a few walls back there. What the hell is going on here? Okay, I'm just going to get out of here. Okay. 
What is this guy doing? Did he just see one of the bodies? Oh shit. Yeah, let's follow this guy out. And uh, next we'll go rescue Kajimbo. Continue out of the mission area to complete the mission. Off he goes. Retrieval complete. Outstanding job, boss. We'll get on that analysis right away. Again, I forgot to turn off reflex. Boss, the tape you recovered is clearly a recording of an interrogation. Proof that the base has been converted into a black site. But according to the client, there should also have been a record of the full scale of the plan. Maybe that was a tape we missed. So that urges you to go back and find something else in that mission. Hey, what's up, Polish? How's it going? Um, let me just see here. Uh, Lupus, I've been watching your Elden Ring streams to avoid spoilers, but I want to know, what do you think of the game so far? I'm really enjoying it, Lupus. The, uh, the, the scale and the scope is kind of a double-edged sword, though. Um, it can be quite awe-inspiring, but it can be very overwhelming and exhausting at the same time as well, especially when you're a slow player like me who wants to, you know, explore and piece together the lore and all that stuff. It's, uh, it's a crazy big game. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm as, like, blown away as some people are. Like, some people are just, like, head over heels with the game. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, we unlocked hard on that. Let's rescue Kajimbo. <clears throat> Snake's army has spies operating around the world. The members of this intel team investigate conflict regions, strongholds, and high threat installations, among other places of interest. Their investigations cover force strength, logistics, supply routes, planned operations, and their feasibility, chain of command, and behavioral patterns at the, um, at the site, even down to the names and faces of family members. This intel is then reported to help devise infiltration missions. Contract work is also taken on as the situation warrants. Agents infiltrate target sites themselves through chop, uh, though choppers are available if emergency evac becomes necessary. Forgot about all the information that these uh, missions gave you as well. That's cool. D Cups, how's it going, man? We got a request for extraction from a member of the Intel team who was working undercover at the prison. As you know, it's an enemy base. There's no time for the silent approach. Assault the base, secure the target, and get out of there. The target is our agent from the intel team. To say he's a critical VIP would be a massive understatement. Bring him home, boss. Of it. Are we too late? If he's caught, he could drag us all down with him. 
It'll be interesting to see where um, Rockstar go next. They lost their, their lead creative, right? Dan Hauser. His brother is still there, I think, though. They lost a bunch of people. Yeah, I remember uh, Leslie Benzies was a big loss for them. That was like right after RDR2 or right before RDR2, something like that. This one on hard can be pretty tricky. You need to play almost flawlessly. Ooh, take it easy. Really? Clear. All hostiles down. Touchdown is a no go. Rendezvous at the helipad. Can you make it to the helipad? Tell you that. Request escort. Boss, cover the friendly vehicle. Ha <laughs> ha! He knocked over his friend. Nice. I've secured cassette tape. Gotta get it to the boss. I gotta get it to the boss! Nice. Eh! Oh shit! Fuck you. We go. That'll do. Jesus. Um, I meant to reload there. I thought I had to reload it. Hey, I got him. Sweet. It can be hard to get that guy with the crank. The guy who's in the truck. Oftentimes, I'll have to use a grenade launcher. That's my backup strat. Thank you, Kaz. Yeah, I don't think you get that line if you blow the vehicle up. Um, shit. Whoa! There we go.
Ah, stop moving. There you go. This guy with the launcher. Hey, oh nice. Okay, go. Yeah. If you don't take out enough of them, you have to deal with more of them here. That's rough. Target secured. Now get in the chopper. Okay, do it. Ooh. actually shoot the guy from this range. And you can see him flying out of the chopper. It's really tough though. You don't really get rewarded for it though. Another guy spawns. Which kind of sucks. But still cool that you can take him out from this range. Oh! Oh, I got him. Nice. I've only pulled that off a few times. But see, look, another guy spawns. Fuck you. Not a kill, though. Raguchi with the 32 months. Thank you. rank. You'll only say that if you get an S. Bling. One kill, though. I think I must have killed someone with my uh, launcher. Cool. I don't think the uh, I I blew up two vehicles. 
but I don't think those counted as kills. I think it was the guy that I shot on the AA emplacement. I think he was the kill. The, uh, the truck explosions, I don't think those were kills. Maybe one of them was. I don't think so, though. I think it was the guy on the AA. Little Easter egg here. After that mission, Kojima's in the chopper. If you sit on the menu here, he'll spin the wheel. He'll spin the mission list like a slot machine. No, I'm not playing your mission again, Kojima. I know you I know you want me to do that, but no. Um Okay. AA in placements. Let's do it. This was probably my favorite mission, gameplay-wise. The one I spent the most amount of time on, anyway, back in the day. I'm sure I'll be rusty this time, though. At least we're not on hard. Boss, this mission comes from none other than the JCS. A MAGTAP will very shortly conduct a Helleborn assault on that base. Their objective is to seize control of it. And the one thing that could get in their way is the base's anti-air defenses. You need to take out the anti-air emplacements. Doesn't have to be all of them. Destroying three will allow the assault force to land. Once their destruction is confirmed, military choppers will descend on the base and the Marines will begin their assault. They don't know you're there, so you need to exfiltrate before they arrive. C4 is an explosive that can be placed and then detonated remotely. Snake! Thank you. You place some C4. Get to a safe distance before detonating it. I think there's more ammo up here. Oh, there isn't even a guy up here. Hey, why am I not rolling permanently? What's going on here? Watch yourself. The enemy will stay on full alert from now on. Yeah, here we go. Permanent caution. I'm still using reflex. Let's restart the whole mission and turn that shit off. Oh, is Camp Omega in Metal Gear Online? Boss. Spike. With the year. Thank you so Boss, much, man. You need to take out the anti-air emplacements. Doesn't have to be all of them. The Destroying big year. Cheers. It's called Black Sight. Yeah, I, I don't think I even play, I don't think I even tried Metal Gear Online. They don't know you're there, so you need to exfiltrate before they arrive. You play some C4. Get to a safe distance before detonating it. I'm just gonna try sprinting up here. Nah, I think he'll hear me. That's a better way of doing that. That's the way I used to do it. It's all coming back to me slowly. Now we can quickly get up here before this guy comes up to us. 
Yeah. There we go. Terrible. There we go. All of them walking around with these RPGs. Love how dangerous the map is. This permanent alert. Apart from you, you don't seem to be too alerted right now. I think maybe he was the guy who was going over to check. Another guy over there. Oh, beautiful. That little bit of bullet drop. I really wish they didn't dumb the bullet drop down for Phantom Pain. Such a nice part of Ground Zeroes. Okay. Yeah, this guy is coming up to check the... Um, Power. Even crouching down those stairs can get you caught here. <laughs> That's why I crawled at the end. Okay, I think I'm good. I can't remember if it's just him down here or if there's another guy. Boss, that prisoner. Now, this guy has a whole ass monologue about being tortured. Been no contact from him either. Sorry for not telling you, but 
but Cypher is probably behind the development of that black site, and I figured it might get us a lead on them. If our man's still alive, be sure to get him out. He of actually box. paused his monologue for Kaz. Good boy. He should continue it when we pick him back up. Fuck you. Who else is here? No, there's two guys up there. I think... I don't think I need to worry about those. They will see the guy that I just knocked out, though. I remember that. They'll call for more backup. They share information that governments want to sweep under the rug. They, they gain leniency for their agencies. They're trying to create some kind of human network without borders. Sorry. That's all I know. I can't believe I got captured. I should have known that wasn't up to your standard. The torture was... It's beyond anything I imagined. <laughs> they were breaking guys left and right. I came pretty close. To... <laughs> Don't worry, boys. I, I didn't tell them a thing. But... Just one time... I was questioned by this other guy. He was different from the rest. I'll never forget what he said. He cut right in the wood. Nothing to be ashamed of. Pain gets the better of us all. Let the words comfort you. Now, what did your boss tell you? Oh, man. <laughs> I nearly talked. This guy was so, so weird. I know I saw his face. I, I just... I can't remember it. The administration here knew about the operation. There was a leak. The brass are long gone. All that's left of the grunts kept out of the loop. Plus enemy combatants. <laughs> I don't know why they just let the witnesses like us here alive. Wait, there's something there. Did they set a trap? Look around carefully. Let's get out of here. I want to go home. Our home. <clears throat> Such an interesting bit of dialogue when he's quoting Skullface, but his quote is something that Big Boss said to Chico and Peace Walker. I was so mind-fucked by that when I played this for the first time. Nothing to be ashamed of. The pain gets the better of us all. Let the words comfort you. Big Boss said that to Chico to comfort him when he rescued him. You know that early mission where you rescue Chico? In that little house? Okay, let's put him down there. And now we have this other character repeating those words, but within the context of torture. Okay. Um, I forgot to destroy one of the AA emplacements, or I forgot to set C4 on one of the emplacements. So that's not good. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Boss, you need to take out the anti air He quotes Big Boss again in the Chico torture tapes as well. I forget what um once their destruction is confirmed, military choppers will descend on the base and the Marines will begin their assault. I forget what the line is now, but I think it's another line from that same scene with Chico. They don't know you're there, so you need to exfiltrate before they arrive. He says it to Chico while he's torturing him, I think. Or maybe he says it to Paz. I can't remember. Can anyone remember what the, what the other line is? Says you're a real man now, soldier. Yeah, that isn't an exact quote, but you could say that it is calling back to Peace Walker and the whole Ombre Nuevo scene, a new man. Doesn't stop at the torture facilities. The abductions. I always thought if it was, I always thought that that line might have been kind of meta regarding the 
graphical nature of the game compared to Peace Walker. <laughs> no more comic book cutscenes, Chico. You're a photorealistic boy now. <laughs> kind of reinforcing how realistic this game is compared to Peace Walker. The tone, the dark nature of it, how gritty it is compared to like the cartoonishness and lightheartedness of Peace Walker. National sovereignty. No more and war games. Out. You're a real man now. That's why the government has given its unofficial um, consent to the JCS's plan, and this suppression op is going ahead. The end game is to conduct an Okay, is he still up there? Black site and apprehend whoever was behind it. No more photoshopped hats, Chico. CP, this is Delta 9. I just saw someone suspicious. Checking it out. Okay, he is there. This is CP. Understood. Keep your guard up. Yeah, we've made a complete mess of this now. That was pretty smooth, though. until the point when it wasn't where it wasn't ah. Such a cool mission, though. So many of them. All wandering around in caution. Fuck you. Oh! Um, I did take... Oh, I didn't take a launcher? Well, I can, I can take it off one of these guys. Wait, may maybe I never even grabbed the launcher the first time. Usually I grab a launcher somewhere. Uh, you. No, those guys don't have one either. Fuck's sake, okay. Lazy son of a bitch. God, this is the third time this day. Come on, man. I know the hours here are rough, but Jesus. Four fucking rounds left. CP, this is Delta Three. Just saw a suspicious person. Need someone to take a look. Over. Delta Three. Ah, why am I? Why am I wasting all my shots on this guy? Okay, no more rounds. The rolls are so slow compared to Phantom Pain, I can't just frog leap. Uh, bad humans, no you don't like how you can throw C4 and survive, sorry. You're not allowed to have those opinions. <clears throat> Gonna have to ask you to retract that statement. You don't like it, you hate it. You hate how they ruined C4 and sticky bombs. You know the rules. Come on now. I expect a written apology to everyone in chat as well. I'm doubling down! Get your ass up. For fuck's sake, what a mess! I'm 
I'm going to crouch run through the center of the area. Ooh! I'm going to check it out. If this was hard mode, I would be dead. And I'm missing. I'm. Mi I'm still. I still need more C4. I guess I could throw grenades to finish off the vehicle. Once I take all these out, another armored vehicle comes in, which I have to destroy as well. Um, let me see if there are any trank rounds over here. I can't remember if there are on this mission. Hey, where do you think you're going? Nope. Target destroyed. I heard a scream there. Real smooth. I'd expect nothing less. Um armored vehicle headed your way and its cannon will be a threat to the choppers you'll have to eliminate that too. okay this could be a whole mess <laughs> hello there I hope this stops him in his tracks, at least. Yeah, okay. All right. Nice. The Hellborn assault will commence now. You need to exfil before... Uh, where's... You gotta be kidding me. Boss. Radar's picked up unidentified aircraft. Two of them. They're headed your way. Speed 500. Where's my boy? Here he is. Aircraft. Three minutes until arrival. I don't know what this is about, but I don't like the timing. Get out of there ASAP. I have a bad feeling about this. Arriving shortly at LZ. I've abandoned my boy! You're nothing but the afterbirth, Chico. Slithered out on your mother's filth. Lost the unidentified aircraft shot down the military choppers. They're hostile. Also, their payload's been confirmed. Bombs. That place is gonna get blown to hell. Achilles, how's it going? Nice. That was actually a pretty good recovery at the end. When I was all out of ammo, I had to go back to plant that C4. I was in a pretty sticky situation there. Really fun mission. We don't know who sent those aircraft to strike the base. The one thing we can say is the origin was Western. Any evidence of what was going on there was reduced to ashes, along with the enemy combatants. But somebody in America wanted to make sure no one found out about that black site. When you look at it, everything's worked out exactly as they planned. 
I've heard Washington has given tacit approval to the kind of facility that operated there, and things are moving ahead. Stopping terrorism is the new priority. And the identity of that somebody? My money's on one name. Cypher. Nice. Uh, let me see. What's next? Still need to unlock Deja Vu and Jamais Vu. We do that by collecting the emblems. Let's go for classified intel acquisition again. And this time we'll do... We'll take the other path. We got the tape that we were sent after, but there is... More to it. I'm playing on PS5. Yeah, fresh save. First time I've done a fresh save since the game came out. Play some Metal Gear Survive soon. Now that Bad Humans has mentioned it, I only played the first like five hours of it. Yeah, I really don't know much about Survive either. I haven't watched much of the game. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to hard mode now after doing all the last few missions on normal. You can get away with that shit. Um, fuck. Go on, then. I want to show the scene this time, and you have to be very precise. Oh, Make contact with the agent game, what is this? Check his appearance on your iDroid. Thing is, Where am I? One of us, so don't let your guard down around him. Um, I've been told you can also use the No, we're restarting the mission. We're gonna have to go through Kaz's whole monologue again, but I wanna do this in a certain way. I don't know. 
The arcade played it unmodded as well when it first came out. Just don't stick with the spear. What do you think of uh, Survive Bad Humans? Getting out here this time. Somebody wants themselves a place where they can interrogate POWs as they please without being held to the Geneva Convention, a black site. Something is going on in Cuba's little America, far away from the eyes of Washington, and the truth behind it all should be on that cassette tape. After identifying the target, approach him and grab him. That's the contact sign. Just make sure you wait until there aren't any other soldiers around. Oh, fuck off. Okay, maybe I'll come back to this mission. I'm coming back to this mission. I'm just sick of hearing the dialogue again and again. And with the way I want to do it, I want to see that intro. Um, I think that there wasn't a focused force in either single player or multiplayer. Really needed more in either or both. Okay. Um, I think we... Oh, no, no. We still have to do the Renegade Threat. We didn't do the normal version of Renegade uh, Threat. Let's do that. There's some pretty well-hidden dialogue in this mission. But it requires a lot of waiting around. We won't do that this time. Let's just finish it any way we can this time. Hey, what's up, Odie? Quitting a mission? I mean, quitting a mission that I've completed like a thousand times, yeah. The pair were in Laos together, but retired after the U.S. withdrew its forces. They were a sniper spotter team. In country, they were known as Glass and Blitz. The eye and the finger. I've sent VIs of the targets to your eye droid. Quitting a mission temporarily. I don't appreciate your tone, Odie. I don't, I don't appreciate the kind of spin you're trying to put on this. Dog quits mission. Mission too Whatever difficult for dog. Dog just can't handle this kind of challenge. I see the way you're coming at this, Odie. And I'm not, I'm not accepting it. I'm not falling for it for one second. Um, right, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I don't know what the plan is. Ooh, do these guys have a chat? You did an inventory of the armory day before yesterday, right? Yeah, hadn't been in there for six months. If you're not the gunner, you ain't seeing much of that place. Oh, Jesus! Oh, he's not coming up this way? Still, 
Never really looked like he was coming up this way. No way. End of story. Um, I forgot completely about that conversation. So those two guys have a chat. We missed half of it. I'll have to uh, do that again sometime. Okay, let's go up here. Send VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. Open the menu tab, then select mission info. <laughs> oh, the quiet Chico theories. And that the end was actually Chico's father. That was another one. I don't think that that theory was actually, like, legit. I think the person who initially posted that was just taking the piss. Shut up, Kaz. You found him. That's target A. Glass. Take him out. Ooh, that would be so sweet if I got him from here. I have no idea how much bullet drop you have to adjust for with the assault rifles. Or if you even do at all from this range. He's gone now anyway. Or he's leaning down. He's tying his shoes. I've sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. You can uh, extract them as well. You don't have to kill them. I kind of feel like going for it. That was a good attempt, I think. Yeah, there's no drop at all. Okay, where's Pilitz? I wonder has Pilitz's pattern been interrupted in any way? Doing. Did this guy see me?
Hey man. Don't move. Spit it out. One target left. Take him out. CP, this is Delta 3. We're standing down here. No hostile spotted. Over. This is CP. Understood. All fire teams, return to your posts. Out. Okay. I've sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. Boss, the target has left his predicted field of movement. Search somewhere else. I think he's going to drive up here next. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, you're not coming up here. Okay. He's going for a tour of the prison down there, I think. Yeah, I guess we'll kill them both this time and then do... Something fancy next time. We'll go for the extractions. Try and get all the dialogue. Um, that wasn't very fancy. Confirm targets A and B neutralized. Good. You've completed the objective. Now get out of there. Either exfiltrate by chopper or make your way outside the mission area by land. Oh, right at the very end. I remember this guy. In all the other missions, there's no one in that little box. Fuck you. Ah. Mission complete. Boss, that was superb. No one but you could have pulled that off. Ah. Could have been better. With those two targets out of the way, we might just see an early end to the war. But did you notice, boss? They seem to be afraid of something. Feared it more than death itself. Just what the hell is going on in that place? Okay, let me check here. Um, Spike, I'm pretty sure I thanked you earlier for your year. Thank you, Raguchi, again with the 32. D Miser, Box Ghost. Uh, let me just check the time here as well. It's almost 7. Um, yeah, guys, I, I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I did say it was going to be a short-ish uh, Ground Zero session. We will continue more of this next time. I think maybe I'll do some big boss runs and stuff before we... Um, like, I might mix it up with some big boss runs and some more Ground Zero's progress next time. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm going to stop for like half an hour or an hour, get some food, and then I'm going to come back and uh, do uh, some more Elden Ring. Um, but yeah, I will likely be back with some more Ground Zero soon. I'm even thinking about doing some kind of uh, like mini solo marathon this weekend, maybe on Friday or Saturday. Um, maybe some kind of mild subathon incentive thing as well. We'll see. Um, I also need to take some days off as well because I've been streaming for like 15 days straight now, doing a lot of Elden Ring, as many of you know. 
Um, but yeah, I definitely want to try and mix in some MGS as well. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'll be back soon. See you soon, guys. Take it easy. Yeah, and I'll probably be back in like an hour. Maybe even less than an hour for some Elden Ring. And yeah, we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Take it easy.